Hey everybody, so uh, I said I would go ahead and uh, make this video. So what we have today is uh, Tina's Tarpon 120 uh, Wilderness Kayak. Um, she needs a new um, anchor trolley for it. I have the same one that I'm going to do today that's on my kayak. Absolutely love it. Uh, no moving parts is kind of the theory here, right? A lot of the uh, uh, anchor trolleys use a pulley in them. And we don't use that. What we actually use are three rings. Um, I bought these at Lowe's. These are nickel plated, zinc plated, sorry, zinc plated. So they may rush. You may have to swap these out from time to time, but for what they cost, again, $1.30. Uh, we got three of them. And then the other thing that we use is just some handy 550 paracord. So uh, I think. Um, 50 feet of it like this run you about three bucks so that's what we're going to use for this project today uh, i'm going to go ahead and take the phone off the stand here in just a second kind of show you the way that it is right now and we're going to cut it off and just string this new one on for her so this is her trolley system that she currently has uh, we put the eyelets on here and then here's that uh, pulley that I'm talking about. Uh, the bad issue with these is they like to rust and then they don't really like to uh, be as smooth as they should be. Again, we put the eyelet here and we're just gonna run her string just almost like it is right now. And this is where she ties her anchor off at through another eyelet. And then we're gonna run this onto the back. So what I'm gonna show you is how we did it in the front with mine. And this is the way mine is, quite simple. Tied my string onto my ring, ran my ring, or sorry, ran my paracord to another ring back here. There it is, back here. And then ran that to the third one. So for mine, just uh, slides right through, really easy. Um, I've had mine on for probably, a year and a half now and that's all the rust that I have on mine just a little bit but there's no moving parts which makes it really good so my head's gonna be a little out of the video here but that's just so you guys can see what's going on so the first thing we're gonna do is just simply cut off our old one take the string out the pulley we can just cut this to make it simple And that's it for her uh, old one. It's removed. All right, so where we're at right now is I, I moved a little further ahead. Um, what I'm gonna show you right here is the exact same thing that I just did in the back. And that was I attached the string that goes from here to the ring. Um, Simple, um, no special knots, granny knots at your finest is all I did. Tied about four or five of them. And um, that's all I've used to hold my ring in place and it's worked good for the time that I've had it. Then all we're gonna do is up on this eyelet and it doesn't have to be the eyelet, guys. Anything that you have up here, a handle, anything that's, you know, good and solid. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna try to just keep about like maybe six inches in here. Again, find them high-tech granny knots. There we go. Gonna trim a little extra, let extra off. Just clean this one up a little. Give a little haircut. Okay. 
There we go. So now, this is the third ring that we used. And what I've done is I have those eyelets that I showed you earlier, uh, the two that go back that way. I've just ran the one string through here, tied the ring on the other side. Now all I'm gonna do is take my string, bring it through the um, ring here, and I've already done this in the back. And now I'm just gonna simply tie this ring on to this. So now what you'll have So if you guys uh, noticed, yeah, there was a little pause there. I looked back and realized I had the ring on the, the top instead of on the bottom. But you wanna make sure that you tie your ring so it's not in between these or in this little area here, which is what I was just trying to do. You gotta make sure that it comes out here and it stays on your bottom piece. And all you gotta do is just tie it on there tight. Again, just using the uh, granny knots. Some of you guys are probably gonna try to tell me this is some sort of hitch knot, but even if it is, when you do it like a granny knot, what it's gonna do is still come out the same way, so it didn't really matter. And now, trim this edge off. There's that one, there's that one. So, when I was talking about how easy that trolley, anchor trolley is, just to show you, all she has to do is grab her ring and she can pull it one way or the other and you should be able to see that ring in there sliding around and it'll go all the way back for her. All the way to the back, or she can bring it all the way to the front. And the whole anchor probably cost you less than six bucks to make. Hope that helps you guys out. Good luck. Have a good one, guys.